Welcome to season four, part two of the FIFA 22 Creative Club Caramel. Last episode was really good for us. We started the season really well. We are first with 43 points. We played 18 games. We lost one and then we drew four of them and that was a really good run for us. And the first match we're supposed to play in this in this episode is against Almeria. And I'm going to be simming that because, I mean, I'm not really going to waste my my playtime on Omerium. Fonteca, Verts, Maduke and German get the goals for us. Youth development, yeah, I'm not really interested in the youth in the in the youth in the youth squad. I mean I'm sending out guys. It's just that um the guys that they're bringing are really fucked up and the good guys that came in, I mean, I've, I've already sent them out alone. I'm not about to stop playing youth players in this team at this point in time. Especially when especially when I'm I'm, I'm fighting for Champions League and and La Liga and I'm most likely even fighting for the um, domestic cup. I mean we have this match against Barcelona. That's the first match that we're going to play for this episode. We're not going to play the the full match. It's going to be a um what do they call it highlights because I want to save a full match for maybe like a Champions League match or maybe an important match in in the season. We win against LJ 3 2 that's a really good really good goal. So a really good game. And okay, we have a couple, probably a couple of us. Some of them were withdrawn. And we say has finally returned from injury. That is that is really fucking good news. That is really really good news. Finally, I mean this is the second time he's getting injured, and I, I really actually I actually really miss him. Um, offer from Areska, loan deal, two year loan. Of course, I always do a two year loan because why not? Um, uh, rejecting the offer for that guy, Korea. And let's see if Rise is actually fit to play. In this match hopefully he is and this martinez guy can okay he's not so i'm just going to play this one and then in the next match i will bring in i'll bring Rise back into the squad i mean they say he's fit but he's not actually fit so i mean i wonder what the fuck and why the fuck they're doing that so i'm going to be doing i'm, I'm going to be using this formation drum um james is going to be playing in this match and he's going to be wearing the captain's armband as well and okay i forgot to change the that was really close <laughs> I forgot to change the Barcelona kits. Alright, so we, we we beat them last time we played them. I, mean, I can't really remember, but I, I feel like we should have beaten them the last time we played them. Yeah, I think I think we did. So uh German Ponteca up top, Kallenberg, Verts, Pedri, and James in the middle of the park in a diamond shape. Then Stuart Zaracho as the fullbacks, then Helbig as and Bardio. Stuart and Zaracho are most likely peaked. I doubt they're going to be getting to 90 unless that whole dy dynamic potential thing is still is still working but um yeah let's see what we can do in this match all right barcelona here we come we are they are coming to our stadium the estadio de cohetes and they have come here a couple times and we have beaten them a couple times we have lost a few as well and okay they have long lay they have I mean, I want to see what their squad looks like. I have no idea who this guy is, but they have Rodrigo. Oh yeah, this is the weird, weirdest fucking shit. This this snake of a player left Real Madrid and came to Barcelona, and I mean, it's really, it's really fucking weird. Really, really fucking weird. But they have Alexander Arnold. They have that defender. I have no idea who he is. The keeper. I have no idea who that is too. But let's hope that we get the majority of the of the attacks. And of course, they have a solo run right off the bat. Let's see if Helbe can help help us out here. Ferran Torres. Alright, Vardio. Yeah, Vardio has done really well in this season. Like, so fucking well. And now German has a really, really, really interesting chance on goal. Power shots. Power shot, definitely. Thank you. No way you're missing that shit. No fucking way in this life you're missing that shit. And that's the first goal in the 15th minute against Barcelona. We have another counter-attack. Yeah, all I have to do is chill. Chill for one of them to make the run. And then, yeah, they, they did not make the run. But I see German and that, that pass is just too fucking wild for him. It gets intercepted either way. So they have a solo run of that. I don't, I don't really know how this is a fucking solo run. But um, good for them, really. Most likely should be able to defend this very well. Rodrigo is a very fucking dangerous player, so yeah, that's that's brilliant. Okay, free kick for who's that? This should be German. Yeah, but I think I'm going to give it to Fon. I'm not quite sure. 
what I should do here. I mean, German's curve is not really all that. So I think I'm just going to make Fonseca play it though. I think I'm just going to make Fonseca play it. Yeah, this will be... Uh... Thank you. And that's just too fucking high. Another solo run for German. I mean, he, he definitely should be able to score this one. Of course, I mean, he's, he's definitely fast enough to boost past long play. And exactly. What was that shot? I mean, come on, you can do so much so, so much better than that. Okay, Fonseca has a really good chance here. I think it should be Schmidt. Let's see if I can get... Ah, oh, fuck, that's offside already. That's obviously offside. But we do win the match 1-0. I mean, we had a really, really good chance for German to go two goals up. And I mean, we're going to the finals of this Super Copa thing. I mean, I, I really don't understand how it works. I, I don't know why it's just four teams are in it. And sometimes it's not the top four. So it really, really confuses me <laughs> the way the Super Copa thing works. But I mean, I mean, if one of you guys want to help me out to know exactly how it works, then that would be highly appreciated in the comments. And also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I always forget to say that. And um, like the video if you like it at all. So, um, um, hey boss, I know people have been talking about the position I'm playing me, and it, it, it was just a temporary thing. Please, I'm not really interested in all this talk right now. So, I mean, transfer window, I'm not really interested in this. There's really nothing happening, so I'm simming all the way to the. Mm, no, I'm not going to play that much for that match. I'm going to, I think. The um, youth youth players are still are still here. Wait, chill. I think that thing is supposed to be out. The UEFA Team of the Year thing. I, I always I always like to see, but I feel like I'm too late already to see if any of my players were in it. Manager of the Year took all that's good for him. Then uh, yeah, I, I've missed it. It, it. it usually happens on January 10, and I've completely fucking missed it. So. First match obviously is going to be against. Oh, the Real Madrid match is here. Thank God, thank God, I did not. Thank God, I stopped that at the right time because I did not even notice. I I legit did not notice that they were already the match was already there. Damn, that's fucked up. I hope it's not snowing though. If it's snowing, I would have to wear my alternate kit. Okay, it's, it's clear, and I'm going to be using this formation, but. Schmidt is going to be playing in place of Helvig, sorry, in place of James. I wonder why the fuck I just took Helvig out of the match. But I think, I think, okay, Vert is already on the 90, so we have 1 2. Oh my god, Fonteca actually got to the 90 before German. That's really interesting. Really fucking interesting. I'm waiting, I'm waiting on Vandre. I, I really can't wait for this guy to, to get to a 90. That would be, that would be fucking insane. So Kallenberg, I think Kallenberg has peaked. So I mean, in the main formation, like he's not, he's not there. So in, in, main, in the main formation, my entire midfield is in ninety, and then Rise is still not here, still not working, still not, still not alive for some reason. Hopefully, I can play the match though, even with the, even with him being injured, because I I'm really not interested in putting Varela on the fucking bench there. So, okay, yeah, we can play the match with him in it. So it's going to be tough. We defeated Real Madrid in the last match. It was a really good win at that, and. The, the thing I've been thinking of doing, like, you know how in, in, in real life they actually have a defensive formation and an attacking formation? I think I would actually want to do something like that, where, you know, you can switch from ultra attacking to um, ultra defense. So I'm going to, like, set up a defensive formation, a balanced formation, and an attacking formation. So I will do that after this match, if I remember. Hopefully I remember, because I forget, like, a mad match, to be honest. Anyways, um, we are in Estadio Cuita de Valencia. Hopefully, I did not murder that. Should, this should be Val. Hmm. Is this supposed to be Valencia Stadium? Because I just saw Valencia on the floor there, and I thought Valencia Stadium was the Mestalla. Oh, is that Villarreal? I actually, I actually don't know. I actually can't remember. But that is the trophy. We have already won it once. Yeah, we have won it once. We won it in the first season, in our first season, or in the second season. I'm, I can't remember. I think it was the second season that we won it. Yeah, it was the second season, definitely. And, uh, I mean, this is, a, this is a good chance for us to win it again. If we do, that's going to be fucking insane. And that's going to be the third trophy that we're going to be winning. Fonseca is ready for this shit. German is ready. There is strike partnership. And 
this is the first time I'm actually playing with this formation real time. I just finished watching the uh, Porti Portugal Uruguay match, and to be honest, I am so I'm so ready for this shit right now. I'm so ready for this match. That's good, good control from German. Good, good close control. Ready to set Stewart up. That is brilliant. He scored it, and he just wasn't able to get there. But we are still okay. We lose the ball finally. That was a really good start to the match there. And why didn't you fucking switch to Fonteca? Okay, so how wide to Lozano? Lozano is a wicked player, to be honest. And good defending from him. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> that was that was that was risky as hell. That was risky as fuck. That was really fucking risky. All right. Does he get it? Does he get to it? He does. And that was fucking brilliant. That is a sick ass goal right there. And <laughs> oh, that that was mad. That was mad. That was so fucking easy to be honest. Good, good pass from Fonteca. He was really lucky to be able to keep that under control. And Courtois had nothing on that. I mean, it was a very relatively easy chip. I mean, I decided that I would chip it from way, 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 way along the goal. And that's the first goal. I'm beginning to like this formation, to be honest, because I mean, I mean, it's we are giving a lot of space to the fullbacks, but I feel like we can actually. Uh, get into into their defense get through their defense through the middle because we have two fucking beasts up top in Fonseca and German and then our defense is fucking solid to be honest fucking solid the only thing I feel like I'm I'm missing is the free kicks yeah I, I, I suck at free kicks Come, like I fucking suck at them it's so it's so bad and that is a really good really good damn I mean, I, I could have probably, I could have probably um, finessed it into the bottom right. I don't know why I didn't think of that, but that was a really good, really good pass from from German and Vardio and and Helvig were the only people in the were the only people in the in the in the, in the box. Vardio is doing really well. Vardio and and uh, Helvig, super super defense center back partnership that like it's it's insane how how good they are together okay thank you but that was just too fucking wide i was even upside at first i actually i actually wanted to give it to Fonteca, but i mean just 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 didn't work out all right good interception Thank you. I see that really in. That is brilliant. Score it, please. Oh my days. This guy. This guy. This keeper. I mean, Kotoa is large. Everybody knows that. But what the fuck? I mean, I just feel like I could have done. I should have done a power shot there. German, what do you have for us? That was good on target. And. Now we were able to. Nice play, nice fucking play, and whoa! With his right leg at that, with his right foot at that, that was that, that was insane. That was insane. I feel like if I actually put German as a a centre, a, a, a striker, he's most likely going to be getting more goals than Fonteca in a season. But I mean, Fonteca is already like in ninety one rating, and German is stuck at ninety. So. I mean, Fonteca is most likely going to do better, even if I'm like in the Sims and all. Oh, that was that was an error, but Vardio, that was really, really, really good play from him. I'm really fucking impressed with, with how with how good he is, how good he and Helvig are at the back. That they are absolutely insane, and I love how well that they are defending for me. Who is this? I mean, really odd. I mean, I've never seen him before, but I mean. I really don't know a lot of football players, especially the really young ones who are now showing up in teams like Real Madrid.
62 38 possession that's that shows how how well i am i am i'm playing in this match and i feel like i'm, I'm not making any changes but if i wait oh we say he's ready that is so fucking weird because I, I, there was someone that when i checked he was he was still um what do they call it he was still he was he still had that band-aid on his on his name I know, but I mean, it's good to know that he can come on in this match. I'm definitely going to bring him on, probably for for Antica or for or for German, one of those two. Okay, that was that was good. Oh, that wasn't ready for it, but this should be something interesting. And what the hell? Who the fuck is this keeper? That was that, that was absolutely insane and come on that save was mad. I mean that save deserved deserved the fucking medal to be honest. And I see Fonteca the far post. Can we get to him? No, we can't. But Vardio is right there. It's a really fucking team effort, and it goes stay safely in for twelve gloves. All right, so oh my days. Thank 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 God thank God. Okay. Don't know what the fuck kind of wild ass he header that was, but we are still in the match. And Kalemberg was just bundled off of the fucking ball there. Once again, good good defending from this guy. Pedri has a good chance and that was a very good pass. Kalemer gets to go. He hasn't scored for me in a long time, in a long, long fucking time. I mean, I, I think it's since the second season when I was still playing, like, uh, almost all of the matches. But that, that, that was really good for, for Pedri to spot him. Sweat it off to him and it was never going to be, there was never going to be any, any, any results. But once again, that, that whole thing started from Barrio's interception. Started from his interception and... Okay, whoops, that was good, 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 good block from Zaracho. But I mean, his race is run, and I'm going to be bringing Tommy Yasu into into the match. So another interesting thing I would I would want to do here is I'll, I'll take Kalimberg off, and then I'll put Maduke up there. I'll put Rise in the middle of the park right there, and that should be that should be okay. Again, again, this guy, this guy is fucking insane. Please, no offside. Fucking hell. Fucking hell. I, I, I really want this guy to score. I really, I really want him to score, actually. And that was not a very good effort. Rese. Ooh. I don't even know what, how the hell that happened just now because I was not expecting to pass to Fonteca but I mean it went to Fonteca nonetheless but that's the end of the match it's been a really really good match we were dominant from the start to the finish Real Madrid had nothing on us ultimate difficulty at that we are absolutely fucking flying and um, really good match from Vardio I would say that he's definitely my man of the match for this match and I forgot that was supposed to lift the trophy there and I've, I, I've skipped that that's that is fucked up but let's look at who actually did get the man of the match Stewart. that is so fucking weird that is so fucking weird but Vario did really well see so he got a 7.3 but this is the most this is the most strange i mean i really don't know what he did he got but he didn't get two assists i, 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 I almost thought he got two assists there um his dribble success rate was 100 percent his tackle success rate 100 percent that is crazy that is fucking crazy um possession won twice Mm, he, 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 did, he, he did relatively well. He did relatively well in this match. To get an 8.0, I'd I, I, I say that he deserves it. I mean, from the start I saw there just now, he really deserves that. And next up, let's look at if we have any um, notifications or something like that. If there are any youth academy players that want to get the fuck out. 
Mareska loan agreement for the two-year thing. Then there's a loan offer for Janssen. I mean, I'm not, I'm, I'm not giving anybody like up for that loan to buy thing. You know, it's not happening. I mean, it's just not fucking happening at all. But oh yeah, I wanted to do that whole attack, attack and defense thing. So I'll do that in. I'll do that real quick, and then I will get back to you guys once I am done with it. All right, I have set that up, and I am done. And up next, we have another match in Gotham. That is three matches in. <laughs> that is three fucking matches in one go. How the hell is that possible? Okay, no, not really. We have, we had Barcelona here, then we have Barcelona here. All right, so I'm not interested in playing this one, so I'm going to sim all the way to the match to the Roma match. I mean, we already played Barcelona. I don't want to play them twice, so I'm saying into the Barcelona match. We won the um, Super Cup, and that's really happy, and that's really mad. We win against Cadiz. Then up next we have Levante. I don't know why it's taking so fucking long, but it's probably because of some inner workings for the stuff. We lose that match against Levante. That is fucking weird. And now we are entering into the um, Copa del Rey matches, and we have Sociedad. This is one trophy that keeps on eluding us. It's fucking crazy. We just lost two matches in a row. And now we have fucking Barcelona to play away from home. If we lose this match, it's going to be fucking annoying. I swear to God, if we lose it, it's going to be so fucking annoying. So we better win it. We better fucking win it. Please. No, we don't. We draw it. I mean, a draw is still okay. But the loss to Levante is still really fucking annoying. How the hell does that happen? Alright, so we're almost there. We won the match against Osasuna and we won the one against Real Betis 2-0 and 3-1 respectively. Now we have the match against Roma. It's the away fixture. I'm going to be simulating it. It was a disappointing result, but thanks for putting me back in. Maybe I'm not quite ready yet. Well, I, I actually forgot. I haven't actually put him in. But I guess because it's the normal simulation, that's why that's why he, he gets playing time over Maduke but yeah finally finally doing that and then for the second formation for the second formation uh he's he's not he's not he's not supposed to be starting yeah he's already he's already there so that is that is good we're good to go now we're using this one for the match against roma and <sighs> Might be tough, might be not tough. I'm not making any changes. Why the fuck is Helvig? What the hell is going on here? I think this has to do with the thing I did just now with the um game plan that I edited. But we are back to normal now. Quick sim. Hopefully we win the match. We should be able to 4-0. That is massive. That is fucking massive. That is fucking massive. So we might not even need to play the second one because there's no way they're going to be coming back from that. They missed a penalty in the 13th minute. German scores a, a brace. Fonteca gets a goal in the 70th minute. And then Florian Wirtz gets the first goal I'm witnessing. I mean, I don't know if he has scored before. But that's the first goal that I'm witnessing him score. And that's, that, that, that's a good start to the knockout phase of the Champions League for our team. Um, just keep working hard for now. Blah, 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 blah. The chances you've given me to play recently have really given me a boost. I mean, I haven't really given you any fucking chances at all. But, I mean, it's good, it's good that you're saying that, nonetheless. And... Alright, so let's fix this real quick. I wonder what the fuck is going on. Uh, okay. Then... So if I do this thing, does it switch back? No, it doesn't. Alright, so I think, I think I'm good. Then our next match is going to be... Alright, so I'm going to be playing this one against Roma, then the one against Atletico Madrid. And, well, I really can't wait. I really can't wait to see what we get in that. In that. Oh, I'm not playing the one against Roma. That's true. That's, that's fucking true. That's fucking true. Because we just beat them um, 4 0. I mean, it would be fun to play it and score a couple goals, but nah, I'm, I'm, I'm really trying my, my hardest to not make these videos as long as, as, as they are. I know. Really good win against Vidal, that's really good revenge for us. And Roma match is coming up now. 3-1, so that is 7-1 on aggregates, that is fucking crazy. We draw the match against um, Raya Valicanu. Don't know why, but that's what happened. And let's look at the standings real quick. Okay, we are still 5 points clear from 2nd place. Real Madrid, Real Madrid is all the way down in 8th, that is a really fucking... 
rut that they're in right now. Sevilla in third, Barcelona in fourth. Villarreal and Barcelona are really, really fighting for that fourth, for that fourth um, position for Champions League. I almost fucking beat my tongue just now. Um, monthly scouting reports. All right, so Brazil still doesn't have anyone that interests me at all. No, they don't. That's fucking sad. Well, I mean, it's, it's like one more month before that thing is done, I think. But anyways, now we have a match against Atletico Madrid, and we are still using this formation. But I'm going to make a couple changes. I'm bringing in Kallenberg into the lineup, and Tomiyasu is going to be playing for Zaracho here. And then I'm, I'll be playing the full highlights. We have Atletico Madrid versus Real Madrid. Sorry, Atletico Madrid versus ZM Cohetes. First versus second. If I'm not wrong, I think I'm not wrong. Yeah, I'm not wrong. Yeah, yeah, they're second position and. I mean, we always beat them every single fucking time. Like I said in the last time we faced this, these guys, we have their number. And I'm pretty sure that we're going to have the a, a really good number of of um, attacks here. And Helvig and Guardiola are going to have a really good fucking time at the back. Hopefully they do. We have Werner running, running here, so that might be fucking dangerous. Okay, that, that was a good interception from Schmidt. And they have yet another counter-attack. I wonder what the fuck is going on here. Alright, this is going to be fucking dangerous and... Well... Good interception, all in all. And... Okay, can we have a fucking attack, please? What the hell? Like, it's not even fair. It's not fair because, I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure our attack is going to be some, some fucked up shit, right? Like that, I'm not going to be able to do anything with. Either that, or the game is just going to fuck me up on their own. And good interception from Helvig once again. And these guys can't be serious. They they cannot be serious. Literally can't be serious. All right. So of course, of course that 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 is so annoying. That is so fucking annoying. And now we have a solo run with Rise, but I'm going to try and get Fonteca in. Please. Alright, that is brilliant. Good goal. Immediately we get the goal back from the Fonteca. That was a really good pass from Rise to find Fonteca there in the first place. And now we have a very stupid ass, stupid ass chance. And it's Tommy Asu that's on this. I see. Um, no, I don't want to fucking chip it. I see. I see um, Fonteca, that's who I want to give this ball to. Hopefully it gets to him. It does not. Very stupid fucking shot. But we still have a chance that we have fucking reset. But wow, wow. Please do not fuck this up, German. Do not fuck this up, German. This is our chance to go three extra points ahead of them. So do not fuck this up. I beg of you, German. Wow, 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 wow. He actually fucked it up. Okay, I mean, that was actually my fault. I'm not going to blame him. Because I, I don't know why I went for the power shot there. Honestly, do not know why I went for the power shot. But we are evenly tied. It's the first time that we are not beating Atletico Madrid since the first fucking game that we ever played in this series. I think. I think. I feel like we have definitely beaten them in all of our matches, except from this one. So. Just Covardio's um, development schedule is done. And, okay, it shows a check. That is good to see. Which means that he probably isn't done growing. Yeah, he definitely isn't done growing. So I'm just going to give him the stopper. Definitely the stopper. For now. Okay, his strength is good. His stand tackle is good. I mean, I want his stand tackle to be better and his ball control. What does ball playing defender do? Increases his vision, long pass. Okay, I think I'm, I'm going to do this for now because his his current defensive I'm, his defensive abilities right now are really really fucking good, and I'm I'm completely content with that. Then is there? I think one other person was done. Yeah, Kallenberg was done. Yeah, his form is really bad. I wonder why he did score a goal. So why the fuck is his form bad? Oh, that was that was months ago. <laughs> I forgot that I'm saving this shit. Then okay, Zaracho is actually not done. Let's see if I can change anything here that would benefit him. Okay, attacking wide back. I think he would definitely need that. Then Stewart is done as well. Then I'm going to put that on balanced. 
What else? What else? What else? What do you What do you guys go for me? Rise is done. That that sucks to be honest. Because I mean, his entire career was just injury after injury, and well, now he's stuck at it at an ATI. I definitely feel like if he wasn't getting injured so much, he would have been um uh around a ninety by now. But that's that is just that is just fucking sad. But anyway, that is that about that. And now we have Inter Milan first so I'm, I'm i'm going to i'm going to simulate that one then i'll play the one against villarreal and then i'll play the away fixture against inter milan and on and on and on until i get to the champions league finals hopefully we do not fuck up in the in the um champions league okay we've had a lot of rest so i mean you guys should definitely win this match yeah i mean it's it's, it's really not that convincing but i mean a win is a win and any important messages the scouting report available this should be the last one and let's just hope that we can at least get one more beast of a fucking player from from brazil we, we, we don't yeah that's 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 fucking sad that is fucking sad but i want to take a look at the youth academy let's see if there are any players that um i would want to bring up into the squad for now okay so the best is currently um, Jose Mano Rodriguez. He's Spanish at that. And then we have a an English person. Then we have three guys from Brazil. Really good overalls. Really good potentials. I think all of them. I mean, I mean they're all 15, 16. So I think they can still um, spend um, the rest of the season in the youth academy. And all right. So. Here comes here comes the hard part. Here comes the fucking hard part. Okay, I'm simulating it. Um, that's the best team I can I, I can put out there right now. Schmidt is still the best player on the team. Helbig has has cracked that 91, and um, I doubt Zaracho and and Stewart are, are leaving the what you call it that's 88 i think i think they're both done okay zaracho might get to 90. we do win the match 2-1 fonteca gets a goal and misses a penalty i mean that was a really good chance for a hat trick but uh he did not make the most of it why the fuck giving missing penalties man your penalty starts are really good but the sims nothing i can really do about that okay the next match is just like a couple days away so i mean i have to rest players for this and it's, it's not even up to me in the first place so this would be fucking sad. I've been playing pretty well. We got bigger games coming up. I mean, I really do not like answering any of these things because I mean, it's just really fucking pointless. I mean, it does raise their morale, I know, but I mean, I was not even planning on not playing him in the first place. So, um, I mean, he, um, Kallenberg definitely needs more game time because he's currently crying out of no, no attention from, from me. So. This is another derby match. We we won the first one, I think. The one from last episode. Did we win it or not? I really can't remember. God, my memory is so fucking bad. But I think we should have won it. We definitely should have won that match. Because we didn't play the full one. We played the highlights. And I feel, I feel like um, we actually defend really fucking well in the highlights. We actually haven't... Ha we actually haven't considered a goal in a long time from the playable highlights. That is insane. Thanks to Helving and 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 what's his face and and Josco Vardio. Thanks to them, they've done absolutely insane in this in this in this game. First opportunity in the eighth minute, ninth minute, as according to the game, a penalty against Emmy Martinez. Okay, this guy is supposed to be really really fucking good, and I'm going to go for a Panenka and get humiliated, bro. <laughs> Get fucking humiliated. Good goal from from Ponteca. Yet another goal to Isali. I'm really curious to see how many goals he, had, he would have scored this season. Next up, we have a good opportunity to get to get German into this game. Hopefully, all right. Immediately back to Ponteca, back to German, and I probably could I probably could have scored with Ponteca, and <laughs> my hand just like accidentally tapped tapped strike again. And well, that happened, but German German has his goal, and we have yet another opportunity. Like, I mean, this just shows that we are fucking dominating this match completely. I'm going to bring in okay, Risa is the one that comes, and Schmitz can get ahead on it. No, you cannot get it out to German. Nope, doesn't work out, but 
free say that was a good shot, but it doesn't work out. Villarreal has an attack here. We're still in the first half, 38 minutes, and we should be able to work with this. Work on this. Alright. Don't know why it took so fucking long there, but this is a good chance for a power shot. Let's hope that we do indeed get the space and time for it. No, we don't. But we have German, and that chance just goes, goes begging. Come on, we got the ball back. Come on. Alright, so. Free kick for us. I'm going to be going short, obviously. I see Helvig there. I wonder why the fuck Helvig is there. But okay. And that was a good interception from them. They have a counter attack in the 59th minute. And. Bardio, Bardio has got this. Definitely. Him and Helvig have definitely got this. I mean, we've already covered the entire thing already, just like that. That is good. And there's just no way for these guys to go anymore. But back. Okay, just be careful here. Good interception, obviously. And we have a counter-attack. German, definitely the better option. Oh, Fonteca is, is free. And, okay, that's no offside. Definitely no offside. I see we say. Thank you. No way, no way. I mean, Martinez was getting that. No fucking way. I doubt he expected me to take it to that angle. I doubt anyone expected him to take it to that angle. That was that was a really good goal. And that's the end of the match. Um, I was about to say 90 0. <laughs> fucking hell. <laughs> Anyways, um, three three goals. Um, Fonteca, um, German, and Rise get the goals. That's really good front three magic right there. So that Rise is not going to be able to get to 90. I mean, I, I'm. Um, I would I would have wanted that all 90 all 90 rating team, but I mean that's that's not really important I mean the team is fucking insane right now And the only reason I would change anybody in this team is if they're actively fucking up and pissing me off So I mean that just means that we are most likely not going to bring in any major players next season at all All right, so the next match is going to be the away fixture against Inter Milan It's going to be a really fucking important one at that and uh, the away kit is sorry. The alternate kit is not going to work. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> I really like wearing that, but um, okay. I'm playing Kallenberg, obviously. Um, mm, not really any other changes that I would want to make here. For me, actually, maybe nope. Yeah, I'm, I'm. I'm good. That's this is the team I want to I want to use for this match. We're away, we're going to the San Siro and it's going to be a really tough one. A, a really tough match, a really tough one at that. Because it's just a one goal difference that we are using to lead these guys. Sorry. And we're looking at Inter Milan here. I don't know how well their team has grown over the years or if their team has flunked. I mean for them to be in the quarterfinals, they have definitely definitely not flunked. But this is going to be the end of their road because they have met ZM Cohetes and there's nothing they want to do in this world that won't stop them from my wrath and we have a solo run in the third minute let's see what German can do here should be able to get past these guys and gives it to Rise instead but Rise is a speed god and got to give it to Fonteca who is not going to miss from there I mean his finishing is too good for him to, be able to miss from there so we get a goal in the two minutes 40 seconds that's the fastest goal I've ever scored in in this um what you call it what do they call it um, playable highlights. Fonteca has another really chance on really good chance on goal, and we say does well to get get him that chance and two nil, two nil, inside twenty minutes on ultimate in playable highlights. That is that is insane. That is fucking insane. And <laughs> don't tell me this guy is about to have, have a hat trick. Do not tell me he's about to have a hat trick. And fucking hell. I mean, I obviously wanted to pass to him, but that. Did it happen? Don't know why it went all the way to fucking German. I, I really wanted his hat trick to happen so fast. And please tell me we're still in the first half. Okay, we are. Oh my days, we're still in the first half. And I'm really, I'm really tempted to go for goal here. I mean, it's nah. Let's let's not do that. Let's try to give this to Helvig. It goes too fucking far. I'm too fucking close to the keeper. Corner kick for Inter Milan. This is going to be their first attack in this match. 
but we should be we should we should got this we should got this all right good all right good save from boundary now they have another counter attack hmm i doubt I made a big mistake there. I made a fucking big mistake there. But we should be able to recover. Hopefully we can. Please. Thank thank God. I mean I, I knew I made a mistake as soon as I made it. That was that was fucked up. Well let's try and not let that happen again. Thank you. And now we are really they are going to get like four attacks in a row right now. Alright, Helbig, come on. Thank you, Vardio. Then what's next? Come on! Well, at, least we're able to, at least we're able to capitalize on all of our opportunities. That was that was brilliant from Helbig. And I would say that was bullshit if we weren't 3 0 up. But that was still bullshit either ways because come on from the 60th minute they're telling me that my team got no other attacks well i mean it's possible that inter completely closed us down i know as for the la liga we have actually gone a lot farther from atletico madrid we are now um seven points away from them and there are just seven games left to play barcelona is um now in fifth position they are still fighting that good fight against Villarreal Real Madrid is nowhere to be fucking found at all that is so so sad so sad for them and whoops that is my bad we have the I mean the um away fixture should be sorry the next um okay yeah we have in, in um what they call it uh Atletico Madrid next 4-1 win against against Valencia, that's good. And then our next one shouldn't really be a problem. We're, go we're going up against Girona, and come on, tell me we get that get another away win. Okay, yeah, that's good. 3-1 to us, and then now we have the match against Atletico Madrid and Kallenberg playing. Yeah, or no, never mind. No, I'm going. I'm going to. I'm going to play. Um, watch his face, Verts in this match. No other changes. Let's sim this real quick. We should get the win. Hopefully we do. Yes, we do. Pedri, Fonseca, and Rise get the goals. I mean, we are absolutely fucking flying. We definitely have to win this Champions League trophy this time around. I swear to God, if we do not win, I'm going to fucking cry. Legit. I am going to fucking cry if we do not win this shit. We are in semi-finals. We are one match away from getting to the finals of the Champions League. And, bro, we absolutely need to fucking win this. We absolutely need to fucking win this. Any any messages? Player suspended. What? Please tell me that's for for um the the La Liga, not the Champions League. Manager of the month. Okay, that's not really my business. It's the least of my concerns right now. I'll make sure of it. Okay, we have a really good advantage going into this match, but like I said, we all, we always. I mean, we are literally undefeated against Atletico Madrid in the entirety of the series. That, that 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 means something because even when our team was not that great when we started, we were still we were still um really really good against the side. And okay, I'm bringing Tomiyasu in. That's basically the only. Okay, let's bring uh, James. Oh, James already at a ninety. He's already at a ninety. That is so good. That is so good for him. That is so fucking good for him. All right, so highlights against Atletico Madrid. I swear to God, if I was actually playing attacking attack only highlights, it would actually be so fucking disgusting because these guys would be scoring me left and right without me even knowing anything about it, and that would just bring um that would just bring um me having to score goals. Like it would be so fucking tense, me trying to score goals and all, and well. Good thing that I am decided not to play attack, attack only highlights at all. At all, I'm never going to play this life ever again. Never, ever. I mean, except from the player career I'm currently doing. Speaking of that, if you guys haven't watched that, you should definitely go check it out. It came over my channel yesterday by 4 p.m. West African time. It's going to be happening tomorrow again 
West Africa time, 4 p.m. You guys should definitely go check it out. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'm talking too fucking fast, sorry. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And you'll get notifications on when these videos come out. 4 p.m. West African time every day. Unless I have something that happens that I cannot upload the video. Anyway, so... Let's kill these guys. Let's murder them completely in this match. 3-1 on aggregate. We have the first attack. Uh, I see Rise in a very promising position. So I... Okay, that was, that was a bad pass. That was definitely not what I intended on doing. But... Uh, well, we lost the ball there. I mean, was it really early, early chance at that? Okay, we have another, another chance here. I would want to go for I would want to go for um you no know, let's let's use Kallenberg as an in swinger so that would be more convenient for me. So crap. I mean that's just the last person I wanted to go for. Can we say get it? No, def definitely not. Not in this world at all. So 23rd minute they have an attack. We should be able to we should be able to stop this. We should be able to stop this. Good. Please, what the hell? What the hell? That was just uncalled for. That was just uncalled for, but we still came up with the ball. I feel like the only way anybody can score me in this playable highlight is through is through set pieces, because other than that, there's no fucking way in this life that they're scoring me. And these guys are having too many chances for my liking right now. It's pissing me off. That was good. Fire of the bats. And um, please tell me you have an attack. Yes, thank you. Finally, but it's not really what I'm interested in. I'm interested in. We have Fonseca. Uh, thank you. That was a really fucking spot on pass from Kallenberg. That was a really insane pass from Kallenberg. I mean, for him to be able to deliberately miss those two defenders. I mean, that, there was a bit of me in that because I knew exactly what I was doing. And for him to be able to deliberately miss those two, two, two defenders, that is, that is insane. That is fucking insane. And that is offside, definitely. Oh, it's not. It's not. And that is uh, yet another goal. Beautiful fucking goal from German. Sorry, from Fonteca. This guy is going all out. He's going fucking crazy in this match. He's going fucking crazy in this entire series. And that is 5-1 to Atletico Madrid on, a, on aggregate. And we are now going to the finals of the Champions League for the second season in a row. We are absolutely fucking crazy right now. And, I mean, if we win this, I will be so tempted and be so um what's the word coerced i don't know what the fuck the word is but i would want to win it for three seasons in a row to beat real madrid's record and well fonteca did really really well in this match i'm not going to lie fonteca was in super form for zm kohete scoring twice and helping his side to 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 a two nil win against atletico, atletico de madrid that was that was insane yeah he he definitely did a lot in in that match and obviously oh shit the most goal the most goal involvement in the in the Champions League is German with 11, 11 goals. 11 goals and 3 assists, so that's 14 goal contributions in, in the entirety of the, the season. That's good for him, basically. I, I, I thought it was going to be Fontega, to be honest. I legit thought it was going to be him, but it's not. And I'm still really good with it. I mean, this Fontega guy is definitely filling Ronaldo's shoes in as a Portuguese. And I'm really curious to see how many goals he has scored, but I want to keep that for the end of the of the series, of sorry, of the episode. And okay, so we have one more match to play before the Champions League finals, and that is a match against Real Madrid. It's, it's most likely not going to be tough because we already played them and absolutely fucking demolished them both off the ball and on the ball. That is a an unnecessary draw. Ouch! Let's do my fucking tongue. An unnecessary draw against that team. That pisses me up slightly, to be honest. Real Madrid is sixth position. Too bad for them. They are going to be dropping all the way down. We are now eight points clear from Atletico Madrid. I mean, they, they two are that they two are doing really well to um, stay in that second position. But finally, we can wear our alternate kits. I mean, the away one really cool. And I think I'm going to wear this one in the Champions League Finals, regardless of, of regardless on if I'm, I'm I'm the home side or not. I'm definitely going to wear that one in the in the finals. I'm not making any changes, right? 
Gvarlil is already on a 91. Fontega has reached a 92. German has reached 91, even though he has peaked. So that is the that is the what what do they call it? What do you call it? The dynamic potential at work. So it definitely still works. So I mean, I'm really happy that that is happening. His form is absolutely fucking brilliant at that. So it's really good that he is getting um rewarded for that. He's now a 91 rated player. Risse is the only one I feel for because he's. I mean, he doesn't get as much goals as German and Fonteca, but. I mean, he's still, he's still, he's still, he's still an irreplaceable player. I mean, I wouldn't really say irreplaceable, though, <laughs> to be honest. But I mean, he's a really good player for our side. So we're starting where the one's kicking off. Fonteca kicks the first, the first ball of the match, and we are receiving a Real Madrid free kick first. It's really far, so I, I mean, we are most likely going to deal with this opportunity really, really, really fucking quick. I was wrong. But that is a good save from uh, Van Dre. But my neck hurts so bad. And okay. Oh my days. That is that is bad. But we can still we can still recover from this. Good from. Oh my god. I love this guy so much. I love this guy so fucking much. Vardio. I mean, he guy is unbelievable. Even when I'm not controlling him, he is unbelievable. Okay, so Pedri, let's take this slow. Take. Oh, oh my days! That would have been so. That would have been so crazy. Okay, so Fonteca has a really good chance here. Obviously, I'm going to I'm going to throw this over. And let's hope he does get it. He does not, but we still have a chance to hold the ball. And why the hell did you use your head? I mean that just shows that you don't use your head there. I wanted German. Sorry, yeah, I wanted German. But I get reset instead. And nothing happens, nothing comes of that. Vardio. Thank you. That was a now he gets an assist. Vardio gets an assist. That is fuck oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I love this guy. I mean it's well it's it, it's well worth all of the pain that we've we've endured in the previous in the previous episodes and what the hell, why didn't they let that happen? Oh, this is the second time. This is the second time we are lifting this shit in the Bernabeu. Oh my fucking days. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, Real Madrid fans are going to be absolutely livid at this because it just doesn't make any fucking sense. But it's not going to be James that's lifting this, this time, right? I didn't play him in this match, so it's going to be Helvig that is going to lift this for the first time. Hopefully it's helping because I don't I, I don't see him anywhere here. He's not in the team. Yeah, he got subbed out. Okay, so who is the one that's going to lift the? All right, so we not lift the trophy. <laughs> they don't show it. I have no idea why they didn't show it. That's fucking stupid. Or maybe it's because we're not in our home, in our home stadium, which makes me tempted to see to play the next match. But because of time, I'm not going to do that. Yeah, this this is the match I was supposed to lift the trophy in, but we are jumping all the way to the match against Juventus in the Champions League finals. It's another it's another Italian side. We win our 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 trophy winning a trophy uh, we win our trophy winning our trophy lifting match three 0 good convincing result. And then our last match of the season, we draw it. Don't know why the fuck that happened, but we are now focusing on the most important match of our career, the the trophy that has eluded us last season. We are back to collect and collect we shall. Champions League fucking football. Let's look at how how um, well we did in the La Liga before we go into this match. 88 points. 10 points clear from Atletico Madrid. Real Madrid uh, just, just barely made it into the Europa League. That's sad. After how many fucking years of being in Champions League, they are, re they are relegated into the Europa League. Thanks to Sevilla and Villarreal. Barcelona do get that Champions League position. That Champions League spot. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Basically, for the top side of the of the of the league, which is the only side I'm interested in, really. And um, all right, so I haven't even looked at that team yet, the Juventus team. But I feel I feel like I want to do something fucking crazy here. I want to start Correa because I want to give him game time. And then I want I want uh, James to lift his trophy. 
I wanted to leave the trophy, yeah, because why the fuck not? I put Zarato there. Sorry, um, what's his face? Tomiyasu there. And then. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, you are the better of the two, either way, so I mean, it's just obvious. It's just common sense to put you there. And then Florian Ritz is going to start this match. Um, let's change this to James real quick. Hmm. What else am I missing? K. Schmidt. Um, I'm really tempted to start him, but I will not. I mean, he can play centre back, like without problems yet. So, um, I will, I will, um, bring him on in the second half. Hopefully, I don't forget. Hopefully, I need to bring him on. I mean, I don't know. I, I most likely will just bring him on for the sake of it. But that's the formation we're going with. That's the lineup we're going with. Okay, they have Ake. I have no idea who the fuck that Ake is. Vlahovic Diech. That is dangerous. Then Rovella, Kamavinga, Galaga. I know for a fact that those those three players are going to be fucking beastly right now. Then Miranda, um, Skriniar. I have no idea who, who Miranda is. But Skriniar and Bremer are going to be beasts. And then Chesney is going to be a fucking beast of a, of, of a goalkeeper in this match. And then De Winter is going to be their, their right back. And then, well, let's see if we can pull off what we were able to do last season and win the Champions League trophy for ZM Creators. The first time I was lifting that trophy and I, I, I just can't wait. Excitement enveloping everyone here because it is a huge occasion. The Champions League final. Who's going to be crowned? Club Kings of Europe. Alright, so Jose Covardio gets the TIFO, obviously he does in the biggest match of our career because he has done absolutely insane for us this season. Jose Covardio at the back and then, and then Nuno Fonteca at the front, those are the two best players for me in this season. And uh, yeah, I really can't wait for this match to kick off. That's the Champions League trophy there, the most important trophy of our, of the most important trophy in club football basically. and. We are now on our way to be able to win it. Let's hope that we can repeat what we did in that Real Madrid match in this one. And yes, the edge is actually okay. That was a good. That was good defending from Helvig center back, but fortunately he goes straight into another defender. But good work from Zaracho there. All right, so. Okay, we're, we're able to hold it. That is good. Please score it. And that is a really good save from, from Chesney. Good from Fonseca to even force the save in the first place. I want to make a quick, not a change, but like a quick change in the instructions here. I think I want, I want Stewart to attack. Or wait, I forgot I forgot that. I could just do the, the ultra attacking thing. I completely forgot to just do that, yeah. Anyways. Let's see what I can do here. And that would have been... What? How could you miss that? How would you fucking miss that? Okay, I see. I see Wirtz here. Give it straight to Fonteca. Give it back to Wirtz. Give it to German. And then he has a really good chance to shoot. But he was too, too slow there. Thank you, Vardio. Thank you so much for that. Okay, and that is just one touch too heavy for, for German. Why the hell did he take that kind of a touch? Thank you, Helvig. I see German and Fonseca. Come on, get this ball. Why would you do that? Why would you do a scoping game? I wanted a normal fucking volley. That would that, that that would have been a perfect a perfect chance to start to start this. This match, Vardio is ready. Oh my god, my controller just died. Fucking hell. <laughs> this is the second time this is happening, and the first time that happened, that was when Villarreal, Villarreal got a win against us. Very, very annoying win at that, but anyway, I'm back. I've plugged it. 
and well, thank God we didn't lose possession there. It's going to track back a little bit. Give from taker. I was too late to turn. Well, that didn't work out, but we're still with the ball. Who's there? Korea not able to get ahead on it is quite on the short side, but we do end up with the ball either ways. So possession is definitely what we are after and what we are currently. Okay, that is sexy as fuck. And bro, what the hell is that short? How do you flunk that so bad? How how do you even play this that way? Like, I mean, you are you are way better than that. Why the hell are you playing like like an idiot? Why the hell are you shooting like an idiot rather? Okay, uh, we're able to get that. Well, that should be come off. Okay, what was that? I was I was distracted doing something else. Oh my days! Oh my days! Please don't sc don't score. All right, that is that is that is such a relief. That is such a relief. But we have. A good chance here and Fonteca is just not able to get around the round the defender sucks to be us come on I mean we need we need a goal here we need to get better in our final third in the final third okay that's good from Helvig and and Vardio and uh, yeah I go that way through That was, that was not a very good pass. But that was better. Florian Vrich is able to go past the defender and is not able to get a goal. I mean, that other defender was closing, on, closing in on him and he was not looking like he was going to do anything fast enough. So, let's see if we can get... Ooh, this is... Okay, he just wasn't able to stay in front. And we have another chance for... So that, was, that was not very good. And that took too much fucking time. We, we, we are here again. Okay. And nothing comes up for us again. And okay, we are... We are doing really well in the first half. We, we don't really well in the first half. We are keeping possession like mad. We are make, we are taking shots and all. But we just haven't been able to find a goal. Fortega had the best chance of this match. And uh, he decided to go for a fucking scorpion kick instead of just volley. I mean, I pressed L2 for, for the volley, but I wasn't expecting him to be a fucking scorpion kick in that position, in that situation. But, um, now what? Okay, um, um, this guy is dead in the fucking water already. Um, Tomiyasu. So I'm bringing, I'm bringing Zaratu on. He's already on an 89. That's good for him. And Schmidt is most likely, is most likely going to come up for Helvig in the long run. But I'm bringing, uh, oh yeah, forgot about Rise. Yeah, bringing Rise in. I mean, I need that 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 speed on the left, and that's exactly what Rise can do for me in this match. But funny how I said I was I was going to use my away on my alternate kits, and I completely forgot about that. I would not get to use that. Okay. Please, super sub. Super sub movement. What? <laughs> no, my fucking god. Okay, Karim Adeyemi, that is a dangerous, a dangerous player. Especially at this, at, at, in this timeline. Come on, you got this. Thank you, James. And that was not even... Oh, for I was able to salvage, salvage that. And... Please. All right. He used his right leg for some reason. He didn't come on. He didn't come on for us. And we have an yet another chance. Okay, so we move. We go again. 
gets blocked. Come on, Reese, you can do better than this. Fonseca, crap, that was not a very good pass. All right, what do we have? Good, good, good shots. I'm that just shows I'm, I'm I'm beginning to become desperate, and I am indeed becoming to become starting to become desperate. Rather, I don't know what the fuck I'm speaking right now. Come on, Radio, at it again. Good, 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 good pass from from Rise. German, please. Thank you. Oh my god. Least likely to score a goal like that, but he has done it. That is an incredible flying header. That is an incredible flying header to him to get that goal. Bruh. And that is definitely making the thumbnail. That is definitely making the thumbnail. I mean, I wanted Fonseca to be the thumbnail, but that is that is absolutely fucking insane. That is absolutely fucking insane. Bruh. <laughs> I was not expecting that in the least bit. I mean, I knew he was going to like get 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 the touch. But I really was not expecting him to to score the goal. That was that was absolutely absolutely insane. I mean, I want I, I want that to be the thumbnail, but I mean, it's just it's just too fucking wild. It's not going to work out. It's not going to work out at all. Nah, it's not going to work out. I'm just going to use a picture of a picture of um what's his face of oh, Fonseca. Anyways, so we are in front in this in this really important Champions League match. And thank you, thank you, Helbig. And oh my God, how 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 do we concede? If we fucking through there. All right. Defense defensive duties, please. We say, come on, you got this, you got this. Thank you. Well, I mean, they have a corner that's going to be fucking dangerous. I'm bringing Kallenberg into the match for Florian Brits. Alright, so okay, so he's going no let's not do that. Let's give this to let's give this job to the two of them. What come on? Come on, you guys could have defended way better than that. Brits and and sorry, Pedri and what's his face and Fonseca. Okay, so he got he got I honestly didn't know who to pass to there because um everybody was occupied. No, that was the wrong fucking pass to make. I mean, I, I, I still sent one more goal in this match. Sent one more fucking goal in this match. Thank you. And it does, it does go to. Please, score it. It does not. Oh! Oh my god! He actually got that. He actually got that. He actually, he actually got that. That was, that is insane. That is insane. That is fucking insane. <laughs> oh my days. Oh my days. That was, that was, that was fucking hot. That was fucking hot. I, bruh. That is out of this fucking world. I mean, thumbnail, definitely. All right. So that is, that is brilliant. Brilliant fucking shots from Fonseca. We are even we are we are playing this match in the Estadio de Bonabé, which means we are going to be lifting yet another yet another trophy in the stadium. We have <laughs> oh my god, we have this stadium fucking number. We have we have their we have their fucking number. I got distracted there. I couldn't get inter interception with Helvig. And Badio does really well there. Come on, give me something, and we were able to get it in time. And we're able to get that as well. I got to reset a, a goal, but we were unable to. Crap, they just got they just got a two in there. We're just able to get a two in there. Thank you, Helvig. Come on, come on, get a fucking pass going. Guys, please. And why are you not giving? Okay, so thank you, thank you. 
Definitely scoring that. Thank you so much. So that is two goals for German in the Champions League final. That is good for him. And I mean, we are we we definitely we definitely lifted the trophy now. Like no no way in hell that we are not lifting the trophy. No way in hell anything going to happen. I mean, there's not even enough time. Literally no time for them to to score three goals in this match. And that's yet another good goal from 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 German in this match. And that should be the end. That should be the last kick. You know, yeah, that's the last kick. And. We have won the Champions League Finals. I am probably speechless. I don't know what to say, so I'm just going to sit back, relax, and enjoy the scenes of us lifting this magnificent trophy for the very first time in this in this series. For these players, well, it's the night of their lives, and they're determined to enjoy every millisecond. Well, they have to make the most of this, don't they? It's a great feat. What an achievement from them. Well, they don't need to be reminded about what comes next. It's the presentation of the coveted Champions League trophy. Well, there's some tired players out there, but what you can be sure of, they'll find some energy when they get their hands on the trophy. They'll be going mad in the next few moments. Here we go, the Champions League winners. Well, this is what they wanted. What a moment for these players. They've worked so hard to win this trophy. They've been fantastic. And you can feel the emotion. It's natural to reflect on this final, but so much hard work has gone into the entire campaign. Memories, memories. What would a celebration be without the chance to enjoy it? with your own supporters well these fans have certainly played their part haven't they they'll savor these moments they've traveled far and wide to follow their team they're loving every minute of this and why not all right so that was basically it for the champions league finals we have won it we have won the um what what do you call it what do you fucking call it the la liga we have won la liga and we have won the champions league 3-0 to Juventus. We were here last last season, but we lost 4-2. A very painful loss to AC Milan. And now we are here, taking it back from, from the Italy, from the Italian holders. Now we are the fucking holders. And 20 million to our account for that. That is that is worth it. Um, speaking of being worth it, I have to say I'm glad you recognize how valuable I am. Blah blah blah. Show you worth it, blah blah blah. Anyway, so we are coming to the end of the episode of the episode and of the season. So, I mean, there's really not, not much that we should look at other than the squad hub things. So, yeah, stats. Let's see who gets the highest goals in this episode. Fonseca, he's, he's done way better than what he did last season. He got 31 or 32 last season. Now he has 44 with 9 assists. And German fucking halves. Okay, not halves. He, he almost halves his record for last season. 34 freaking goals, 14 assists. That is amazing. And then we have Rese with 16 goals. He would have gotten over 20 if not for that injury, I can bet. Um, Kallenberg gets 7 goals, 9 assists. Then Florian Wirtz gets 7 goals, 6 assists. That is good. So those, those are the top 5 for this episode. Kallenberg actually gets a, a reasonable amount of goals for not being a starter, a, a, a for sure starter in the team anymore but him and him and um we scored the same amount of goals he got more assists though so i mean i mean if we're to pick the better player based on the stats it would definitely go to go to um kallenberg here pedri got five goals seven assists i'm not really interested in anyone other than under him and then so for the player of the season it's going to be tricky between german and fonteca because fonteca with this he has he has um 50 53 53 goal contributions and then for for um German he has okay he has just 48 so um Fonteca still has the highest amount of goal contributions and to be honest Vardio did really well so I would say I would definitely say that um wait who has, who has the highest clean sheets okay Guardio has the highest clean sheets at that so to be honest I would say that Fonteca gets the player of the season once again that's third season in a row fourth season in, in a row sorry and then German gets third place while Vardio gets second place. That is that is that is good. I'm okay with that. And um, 
yeah so anyway this is the end of the episode if you guys have enjoyed it make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already drop comments on what you think about the players what you think who you think i should bring into the team next season do you guys think there's even anyone that we need to bring in because our team is absolutely fucking insane this season i mean Rise, Rise's position might be only might be the only one that might be in in um danger for next season because i might bring in a new right winger i'm not sure though i mean i might leave Rise on for like one more season he's 23 he's still young so there's every possibility that he might still get to a 90 if he he plays really well so um yeah this is the end of the episode basically and i'll see you guys in the next video peace